Steve Racine, that's got to feel good. At times, that position has been much maligned, but it's shined tonight. The senior celebrates, and so do his Wolverines. They're Big Ten tournament champions. They take down the number one seed, Minnesota, in the championship game. Both teams using rest to their advantage. It was a come from behind performance by Minnesota yesterday. They tried to do it again today, but just fell short. Ben Clymer, Dan Kelly, privileged enough to call and watch these games all week. A lot of entertaining hockey, especially Michigan. They're a scary sight. Well, teams thought they could prepare for that fearful offense, but unable to do so. Very impressive on how they're able to score goals and doing so without one of their best defensemen, Mike Downing, out will regain admission into the NCAA tournament, and it's going to be a tough task for all opponents. Yeah, especially with that physical presence back. It was the goal scorer, though, earlier, the little man, Tyler Mott with his 30th of the season. And Tyler Mott getting dirty, grinding down along that goal line, perseveres with a second effort, and perseverance will continue. Comfort follows up his initial shot and is able to get that one over Eric Shearhorn, but the Gophers would come roaring back. Vinolateri uses his speed, distributes to the inside, and Leon Bristed taps that one home. And then Jake Bischoff, a player who starred defensively with Mike Riley a year ago, stars offensively here at the XL Energy Center, and that offense will keep on churning. Tommy Novak tees one up for the captain to tie it up. But then the cream would rise to the top. Kyle Connor gets a great feed from JT Comfer and allows time and space to meet skill, and then the power play would return to the factor that we knew it was. Zach Wierenski bombs one through traffic there, and that's your tournament winning goal. Looks like he hurt the net there with that heavy shot. Well, you think about the regular season, oftentimes people complain in pro sports that it doesn't mean anything. I think we've seen in the Big Ten tournament, the regular season means a whole lot because those top two seeds are very effective into going far in the tournament and winning a championship. Well, Michigan learned that last year. They ran out of gas by their own admission facing the University of Minnesota, rested this year in dynamic all throughout the game and able to use that speed to draw some of those power plays that ultimately won them this tournament. And who knows, maybe this is the last season for the legend Red Berenson. His young men want to take out the Red Baron in style. They win the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Now on to the big dance where they hope to bring more hardware home to Ann Arbor. This was a pretty good start.